A brilliant day in Croke Park for teenagers from nine different counties and their club coaches taking part in the first Gaelic for Teens programme, a new initiative aimed at keeping 15 to 17 year olds in the game. Top players were only too happy to lend their support. Yeah, I think it's hugely important. Obviously, I know from our own um, club point of view and, and obviously from Mayo that yeah, I suppose this is the crucial years in, in the development of um, girls for, for football. Um, you know, you lose a lot of girls at this age that um, just uh, fade away and, and I, for reasons why I don't know. So, yeah, it's hugely important to, to keep them involved. I suppose the main thing is that they see the enjoyment and fun in it. Um, you know, obviously being competing as well and doing well. But I think it's that you have a fun element and that, you know, you've you've good coaches there that really kind of develop you and bring you on, but also maybe let you express yourself as a, as, as a player. And, and as I said, they're enjoying it and, you know, they're making friends and it, it's a great environment. And, you know, at that age when you're 14 and 15, all you want to do is play football. And I suppose um, it's to make sure they're playing f plenty of football and doing plenty of drills of training. Here's a question. Have you ever seen somebody skipping down the road and crying? <laughs> No, you'll never see it. Impossible. Impossible. Okay, I'm going to prove it to you now. I suppose I was trying to make the point that everybody, no matter what age we are, when it comes to sports, you know, you're going to at some point come across a player who's bigger, stronger, faster, or you think is better. And sometimes just how you hold yourself and how you put one foot in front of the other can make a big difference to just, I suppose, your self-esteem and, and your belief that you can you can go and you can play and you can compete. So that was a key message I was trying to get across today was to just get your head up, get your shoulders back and, and take on whatever challenge is in front of you. Talks included all-star Sharon Courtney on nutrition and hydration. She's a current All-Ireland Club champion who stayed in the game throughout her teenage years. Within the club ourselves, we had a good age group at, that, at my age and probably had a little bit of success which probably kept me there. But in seeing that, there is a lot of other girls my age and particularly at school that would have drifted away from other clubs. And then you meet them maybe later on. I'd still meet them to this day and they say, oh, I wish I didn't give it up. And um, like for us, for myself, for the, the other ambassadors here, like we've such fond memories of, of playing Gaelic football and particularly club football as well, where a lot of these um, girls that we're working with here today, they're all coming from their clubs. It's so important and there is a huge social aspect to it. And the day out today for them is, is huge and they're going to get uh, even greater friends with the group they have and even that alone might keep them playing but um, getting the extra few bits and hits, hints and tips today as well hopefully will keep them at it as well. The teams got to play on the hallowed turf of Croke Park at the end of an eight week programme which has seen their coaches learn new ways of working. I think the time and effort that we have given as coaches and uh, getting the tools going back coaching the girls in a different way and then culminating and coming to Crow Park. I think every, every girl's dream, every boy's dream, every girl's dream is to play in Crow Park. And I think what, we, what this program has done by allowing that to happen has really brought the, the, the interest and the enthusiasm in the ladies football at that age group way up in our club. Was it badly needed in your club? It was, certainly. I mean, I, I did statistics on, on the fall-off rates in our club over the last six, seven years, and we were as high at one point of 77% fall-off from 14 to 18. Um, we haven't done the, 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 the numbers for this year, but certainly when we when you're looking inside in the room inside, we've, we've got 30 players, probably over and above what we should have, but it really has sent a signal that the club is doing something about it, um, and I think it's uh, it's 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 rubbed off in the girls. Their enthusiasm for for today was unbelievable. What is it about the program that has helped you there to actually get them back? What in particular? Um, I suppose apart from the content, the the training sessions, the content was very different. Um, a lot more based on fun, but still doing the training. That was one aspect of it. That definitely, when the girls done the training sessions, they were all going around laughing. Um, it wasn't as focused or as pressured as trying to get a result in a match. It was definitely more fun for the girls. Um, but the most important thing, I think, is the way that the coaches actually deal with the girls, communicate with them, and understand that they have different needs. Uh, before this, it was we were getting girls down for an hour-long training session, and it was all about we need to focus on the skills or focus on fitness and the match at the weekend. Now it's 
you're looking at the, the bigger picture to see if the girls have other stuff going on, to see if it's impacted on the performance or if there's ways we can help them probably improve the performance and hopefully keep them interested. Well, it was really good learning from Cora Staunton. Um, I like learning like what she did in the game to play as good as she does. And it was very helpful, the tips she gave us. I definitely will take them on board <laughs> in the future. The Gaelic for teens, in what way has it helped you maybe think at your age about staying in ladies football? Well, it showed me how popular the sport is around the country and I loved playing against different teams. It just Sometimes it's hard to get the numbers, but it showed me that there's a lot of girls willing to play. We've had great feedback from all of the clubs that are involved and we've had uh, great interest from a lot of other clubs um, looking to get involved. I think word of mouth spreads very quickly when you've got a positive uh, programme, so there's a lot of them looking to get involved again for next year. But behind us here, as you can see, there's lots of comments written by the players um, and it's very interesting to read those about you know, the extra ball work that they'd like to see. Um, one that's just stuck in my mind now for the moment is silence on the sideline, uh, which I think speaks volumes, you know. So um, it's great to see those kind of comments and get to get that kind of feedback from girls of this age because we are in some cases struggling to keep the 16, 17, 18 year old involved. And um, it's only by asking them what the issues are that we will actually find out. And I think today is a brilliant day for that.